Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the track for the time trials is the 11M car of Billy Martin. Council Bluffs, Iowa, gets ready to finish lap number one. First lap of 22, 686 for Billy Martin out of Council Bluffs, Iowa. The first driver out, the second driver. And Billy Martin on his second lap around the half mile third oval here at Tri-City turns a lap speed time of 22.428. His second lap the fastest goes on the books, 22.428 for Billy Martin out of Council Bluffs, Iowa. Your next driver out in time trials here. Tonight will be the 91 car of Danny Ahearns Jr. out of Davenport, Iowa. That's what Daddy Ahern is looking at. They get one track around. Track around. Danny Ehrlich Jr. coming around. Danny Jr. on the first of two qualifying laps here for tonight's Bush event at Tri-City Speedway. coming in on the infield out of turn three. So the qualified attempt for right now is ended for Danny Terrence Jr. And here comes the 43 car of Richard Foster. Foster. No time on the 91 car of Danny Aaron. Richard Foster out of Hope Summit, Missouri here tonight at Tri-City. Getting the time down for the champion Spark Plug 50 to feature event. And here comes Foster. He's up the green flag for the first of two laps of qualifying here tonight. for Richard Foster out of Hope Summit, Missouri, 24.468, 24.468. Foster from Old Summit, Missouri on the second lap. It's his fastest 23.744. 23.744 for Richard Foster out of Old Summit, Missouri. On the track now is the 85 car of Steve Orley out of Woolridge, Missouri. Steve Orley, Woolridge, Missouri. The first of two. Inside of Dry City.
for Steve Orley out of Woolridge, Missouri, 24.751, 24.751 on the first lap of qualifying for Steve Orley out of Woolridge, Missouri. Up next after the second lap will be Terry Strutman. Missouri 24.451 24.451 for Steve Orley out of Old Ridge, Missouri. Your next driver on the track in the first of two qualifying is the 42 car of Terry Slipman out of Vincent, Illinois. And following him will be Scott Koskovich. From Omaha, Nebraska, he is next at the gate for qualifying. But on the track now, Terry Slipman out of Minden, Illinois. for Terry Schwipman out of Minden, Illinois. 2-2, 6-8-1 on the first lap for Terry Schwipman. And the speed for Schwipman on his second lap, 22.621. 2-2, Point six two one for Terry Schlipman out of Minden, Illinois. This is Scott Koskovich from Omaha, Nebraska on the track now, the first of two qualifying laps. He'll be followed by Tom Cannon. for Scott Koskovich out of Omaha, Nebraska, 22.439, 22.439, Billy Martin still with the top speed, 22.439. Koskovich is now your leader. Second lap speed time of 22.257. 22.257. Scott Koskovich now is the fastest qualifier here tonight for the Champions Park Plus 50. This is Tom Cannon on the track now. Car number 32. Coming out of 
into turn three, into turn four. Dave Johnson from West Burlington, Iowa, on the track now with a number five car. The team goes around and gets ready to take the green flag to start his first of two qualifying laps. Rick Lindley will be up next in the qualifying for tonight's champion Spark Plus 50 here tonight at Trash City. for Jay Johnson. On the track now, the 33 car of Rick Winley out of Hazleton, Iowa, coming down to Tri-City for tonight's Bush event. Rick Winley is on the track now, getting ready to take the green flag. He'll be coming down for the right now. All eyes on the 33 car of Rick Winley as he tries to make the fast lap. Scott Goskovich is your leader. His time, 22.257.
The time, 22.764 for Denny Osborne, 22.764. And again, two laps, the fastest of the two, puts you in Division 4. Tonight, champion Spark Plus 50. last year tonight. For Gary Webb. On the track now is the 53 car of Joe Kosicki. Out of Omaha, Nebraska. In the 53 car, he'll be followed by the 73 car of Jim Swank. But right now, Joe Kosicki. All eyes are on him as he comes around turn three and four. As he comes around and picks up the green flag. Starting stand tonight here for the Bush Jerry tonight at Tri City Speedway. And he hands out the white flag for the Just a shade over 23 seconds to travel a half mile for Joe Kaczynski. 23.002. 23.002 02 for Joe Kaczynski. And the time for Joe Kosicki puts him in at fourth spot at 22.489. 22.489, second lap time for Joe Kosicki moves him into the fourth spot. Your fastest time is still that of Scott Koskovich at 22.257. Hamilton, Illinois for Jim Swank as they come around in front of turn three, so he's got a lot of time to make up. Again, two laps, the fastest of the two is your qualifying time. Up next will be John Hamill in the 2H car. Here he comes around the out of Hamilton, Illinois. The speed, the time for Jim Swank, 23.431, 23.431 on the first lap. Wrapping up his second qualifying lap here at the Speedway. Point three eight four for Jim Swank on his second lap. Twenty three point three eight four. John Hample in the two H is on the track right now. Well, not away. Right. It's the green flag for the first of two qualifying laps for the champions. Bart Plug fifty. in Illinois. Twenty three point two eight five for John Hample on his first lap. Two three point two eight five. Twenty two point two five seven. Second lap, a little faster, 23.078 for John Hample, 23.078. The 3F car of Skip Fry from Ely, Iowa. Comes out of dirt. Qualifying laps around the dirt, a half mile here in Tri-City.
12 more cars yet to go. The next car out from the local area, St. Charles, Missouri, will be Kevin Gundaker. He'll be next on the track. But right now, the 3F car of Skip Drive picks up the right side. Rounding up his first lap. On his first trip around the dirt half mile of Tri City, 22.776. Again, Scott Kostovich, your leader. There's the checkered flag for Skip Fry in the 3F car. And the second lap speed for Skip Fry, 23.054. 23. 0.054. From St. Charles, Missouri, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Gundaker in the 11th car, coming around for his first qualifying lap. for Kevin Gundaker on the first lap, 23.291. 23.291 for Kevin Gundaker. Terry Gallagher will be next in the qualifying. Jagger flag coming out for Kevin Gundaker. Qualifying for tonight's champion, Spark Plus 50. Second lap a little faster for Kevin Gundaker, 23.27. 23.277 for Kevin Gundaker. In the zero car, Terry Gallagher. New London, Missouri is where he calls home. Out here at Tri-City, coming out of turn four. He'll be next in the qualifying. for Terry Gallagher from New London, Missouri on his first trip around the half mile. The time for Terry Gallagher in New London, Missouri. We'll have it for you in just a second. 22.659. For Terry Gallagher, the second lap just a little bit faster here in the qualified. On the track now is Ed Dixon. Out of Washington, Missouri in the 50 car. And again, Scott Kostovich, your leader at 22.257. Dixon coming out of three. three, 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 three. Speedway. Steve Foley will be off next. 
in qualifying in the 26 car, followed by Steve Kosinski and Brian Burkhofer. Tri-City. 
Again, the fastest speed, 22.230. Ryan Burkhofer, the center. From Ainsworth, Iowa here tonight. Spark plugs, meet your party at the front gate. Craig Meyer with champion spark plugs, meet your party at the front gate. Speed for Kurt Stewart in the 43X. The last time, 23.421. 23.421. That'll slow him down as he picks up the checkered flag from Dean Howe. Second half speed slower at 23.62323. Point six two three for Kurt Stewart. The 99 car of Johnny Thompson on the track here. West Burlington, Iowa is home for Johnny Johnson in the 99 car. 61-year-old man, the father of Jay Johnson, still running him hard on the dirt track. The 99 car. is 22.538, 22.538, Johnny Johnson, here the 99 car. <laughs> for Johnny Johnson, the fifth fastest qualifier, eighth fastest qualifier here tonight. The 61-year-old driver turns a half lap speed, a half mile lap of 22.492, Johnny Johnson. Bob Kamenak from Pestorf, Iowa, the one D car on the track. Two more left to go, it'll be the 21X car of Steve Henney, and then the 2W of Doug Wiggs. Bob Dominac on the track now, and the one D car. Lap time for Bob Dominac, 22.889, 22.889, first lap time for the 1D of Bob Dominac. Steve Innes in the 21X car, he's coming out now. Second lap time for Dominic, 23.020, it was slower. So his first lap, 22.889 will stand. Second lap speed, 23.020 for Bob Dominic. 21X car, Steve Henney's on the track right now. Out of Donaldson, Iowa. about ready to wrap it up here. Doug Wiggs will be the last qualifier on the track here tonight for the champion Smart Club. No time registered on that lap, so we'll be doing the next week. for 
Burnett on his second lap, 23.592. First lap speed of 23.572. We'll go with the record breaks for the starting position. And your last qualifier in the 2W car is Doug Wiggs out of Sloan, Iowa. Apparently Doug Wiggs is not showing for the qualifying show. That wraps up qualifying for tonight's Bushy Bit and the Champions Park Plug 50 where they will be lined up according to their time trial speed, that being the fastest up front. However, the top six in time trials who have qualified are inverted. Now at this point, the drivers of 20 drivers have qualified for tonight's champion Spark Plug 50. And there's your fastest qualifier, Brian Burkhofer, ladies and gentlemen. His speed at 20 is time 22.230, a second lap of 22.230. Brian Burkhofer, the fastest qualifier tonight for the Bush Series Spark Plug Championship Spark Plug 50. Time of 22.230 will now be presented a special qualifying track trophy and doing the honors, Bobby Labonte is making the special presentation on the fastest qualifier plaque to Brian Burkhofer. Him up on the clutch straight away. The fifth inning pro stock starting six throw on the outside. The number 94 of Mark Herrera. Inside of him, the number 27 of John Kenson. Fifth row on the outside. The number seven of Buff Smith. Inside the second row, the number two of Tim Brown. Fourth row on the outside. The number 74 of Scott Hasse. Fourth row on the inside. The number 92 of Rick Johnson. Third row on the outside. The number 75 of Kenny Steele. Third row on the inside, the number 44 of Mark Roberson. On the second row, sitting outside, the number 14 of Mark Freeman. Inside that second row, the number 17 of Doug Hummel. And outside the front row, the 56, Tony Sarkis. And starting from the front row on the inside, that is the number four of Terry McClintock. They'll take him up the back stretch. We'll watch for the caution light to be turned off on the pole and the drivers will be prepared to go racing the next time by. Flagman in the front straightaway tower has the green flag in his hand. Yellow lights off. Terry McClintock's job in the four is to lead these guys up to the group and take them around out of turn number three and four and put the heat on and we're gonna go racing. Foot Series Pro Stocks on the half mile here at Tri-City Speedway. Turn number one, the number 75 of Kenny Steele gets pushed out of towards the wall. He drops back several spots. The number 14 of Mark Freeman moves out front. He puts about two car lanes over the four. Terry McClintock up the back stretch as he moves down into turn number three. Two cars get side by side. That's Johnson and Hubble, the 92 and the 17. They're fighting out for that fourth spot. Turn number one, side by side. Roberson unable to hang on to it. The number 96 of Herrera goes down the inside above Smith. Can't take the pass. Herrera leads. Brings up the back of the field is Herrera. Now, Hummel looks to the outside. down in turn number one. Got a little bit loose. Got contacted, I believe, by the 56 of Tony Starkus, which actually helped him get all the way around. And he will spin the car and bring it to a stop. He's got some front end damage on the 92. Right front, the hood's all kicked up. Doesn't look like it'll present a problem. You should be able to see out of the race car. We'll know whether or not it brings it into the pits to try and do some sheet metal adjustment. But Rick Johnson in the 92 brings out the caution and he spins down in turn number one.
Mark Freeman, your number 14, the leader, currently is second in Tri-City Speedway Bush Series Point. are lined up on the speedway. Let's see how the top five averages out. The number 14, that is Mark Freeman. He leads the pack. He started out second row on the outside. He has made his way all the way to the front of the pack. Terry McClintock, who started front row on the inside. He is currently second. The number 17 of Doug Hummel. He started second row on the inside. He is now in third. And Tony Sarkis in the 56. I take it back, Tony Sarkis in the 56 is going to be third, and Doug Hummel is going to be fourth. Kenny Steele, who had a problem kind of early as they all went down into turn one after taking the green flag, Kenny Steele got a little bit loose, wobbly, headed up towards the wall, had to drop back a couple of spots, but he has moved up back to fifth. So, Scott Hesse is in the 74, he is sixth. Then it is Tim Brown, the 44 of Mark Roberson, Bub Smith, Herrera in the 94, and Rick Johnson will take his spot on the back of the field as he was the guy that brought out the yellow down in turn number two. For those of you that are newcomers here to Tri-City Speedway, the Bush Series Pro Stocks are a Saturday night program racing series that run here with our NASCAR Winston Racing Series. You're going to see the NASCAR Winston Racing Series modified. They will be out after the Pro Stock. These two cars run every Saturday night here at Dry City Speedway. Put on some of the great shows in the Midwest on the dirt here at Dry City. Gatorade is official foot beverage of NASCAR. The competition can bring the body of essential minerals and fluids. Drivers and teams rely on Gatorade to quench the ultimate thirst the race night can bring. That's why you'll find Gatorade not only in victory lanes, but in the coolers of race teams. Gatorade supports every form of NASCAR racing through the Gatorade Front Runner Award. The halfway leader in each NASCAR series this year receives a special bonus award from Gatorade. Gatorade will reward the 1997 NASCAR Winston Racing Series halfway leader with a $5,000 bonus through the Gatorade Front Runner Award. The recipient of the award will be determined according to which driver is leading the long point standing as of July 23rd of 97. NASCAR champions and NASCAR fans know how to conquer a driving thirst with Gatorade, the official sports coverage of NASCAR. O'Connor of NASCAR, please meet your party at the front gate. Matt O'Connor of NASCAR, please meet your party at the front gate. Single file up the back stretch. Yellow is turned off. We're going to go green as they go up the back stretch. The number 14 of Mark Freeman, as I said, leads the pack off the turn number four. Behind him, the number four, Terry McClendon. the part for the rest of the field. Doug Hubble goes down the inside. But Tony Sarkis in turn number two. He'll make the pass put Hubble in the third to go up the back stretch. Rick Johnson went in for repairs for his 92 machine. Comes back up. bring themselves down onto the grassy area, down off of turn number four. Scott Hathi brings the number 74 down into the quarter mile pit area, brings it to a stop behind his hauler. As one of the crewmen go over, get his head into the driver's window, the window has down. So, as the close stop, so single file back out onto the half mile. The hood is number 74 down in the quarter mile pit area. Steering wheels off, helmets off, belts are coming off. Tough break for the 74 of Scott Hassey. But I'll tell you what, don't count them out. We can see him later on in the evening program. Up the back straightaway, still your leader, the 74 of Mark Freeman. 
Martin Freeman, Terry McClintock, Doug Hubble, Tony Stockton, and Tim Brown, your front five, as they make their way around number four, and onto the front straightaway, green flag, here we go again. Mark Rollins is trying to make a pass for six, trying to get around the inside of the seven above fifth. Can't do it, he has to fall back in. Herrera now is going to try and get around the party four of Mark Robertson as they come off a turn two and up the back stretch. Can't do it. One car out front, Mark Freeman. He's got about two car lengths over the four of Terry McClendon. by the seven above Smith. Great driving job as Bub Smith is heads up down in turn number four. Doesn't get in the back of the car that was just darn near out of control. The 56 is Tony Stark. Leader off of turn number four. Mark Freeman currently second in point to the Blue Series Pro Stock. between Hummel and the number two car sitting in fourth position. They just got passed to the inside by Tony Sarkis. Now they're going to try and make it three wide. No, they do not. Tony Sarkis gets a little help from the seven above Smith. They'll go past the number two, Tim Brown. Your leaders are off the They go down into turn number one. Cars side by side. Bub Smith and Herrera in the 94. Herrera to the top side. Bub Smith to the inside. He'll make the pass. Herrera falls in behind the number seven of Bub Smith as they head down into turn number one. showing why he is the number two man in the point here at Tri-City in the Bush Series Pro Stock. He'll come off at turn number four, and he will see the white flag. Inside of row four, the sixth car of Pat Ryan. Dan Bartle in the 35 car inside row five. On the outside, the 18U truck of Tom Utley. And on the inside of row six, the 05 car of Paul Scripp. There we go. Now the first straight away, straight away as we get heat number two underway at the first series pro stock here on the half mile dirt oval at Tri City Speedway. Don't forget the 1997 Tri City Souvenir. Magazines are available at the souvenir stand when you first come in. Make sure you get your copy. And they have t-shirts, souvenir Christ City t-shirts and kid sizes at the souvenir stand. And once again, our thanks and welcome to the folks with Champion Spark Plugs, Craig Meyer and Kevin. And the man in the stand, Dean Howe, your starter here tonight. They're on the back side. They're slowing down as they get lined up. And Mr. Howe in the stand will take a view of him and see if he likes what he sees. 
Kraus will lead them around. Turn four, they pick up a little bit of speed. Kraus pulling away now. Dan Eckert on the far side, slowing down. Kraus is coming out. And here's the car away. Third and the 33 car, Dan Eckert, who started outside row one, drops back into fourth. As they turn out of coming out of turn two, and things look pretty normal. Everybody is still a rolling, and they go into turn three. It's Brian Crouch, your leader. The 08 car of Barton second, and puts him in the 18 car running third with Eckert running fourth right now. started dead last in this heat. As they go around turn two, the 21 car of Crouch is still your leader. Dickerman now moves up to second, passing the 08 car of Barton. The 33 car of Eckert back there in fourth, and the 05 car of Trim is one. And we've got somebody hitting in the wall. The 08 car of Barton getting a little loose out of turn two. We're seeing Green on the track as he keeps them under control. But look at his fight for first. Inside the third row, the 1W of Ray Walsh. 
outside the second row, the 51F of John Stanton. Steve Gross is inside of the second row, the 22G. Bob Keck is outside of the front row in the seven. And inside the front row, number 9F of Tom Speak. Tom Speak will lead him up the back stretch. Yellow line is turned off. These guys know they're going to go great flag racing the next time by. So we'll let them come out of turn four. We'll let the engine come up. And we'll tell you what happens down in turn number one. Jumped out to an early lead, drift way up close to the wall, paints the wall as a matter of fact. Bob Jack moves into second spot. Shot looks like the number 22 is Steve Rogers in third. Scott Stanton is going to try and get around Ray Walsh as they go up to that stretch down into turn. Whoa, Tom Seat gets into the wall. He goes way too hot down into turn number three. down into turn number three, got up against the outside wall, and I know for sure he's got a right front flat on the machine. Right. Currently fifth in point, this inside the front row for the restart. Bob Keck now sits on the outside of the front row, which is where he started that race. But the 22G of Steve Grock moves up a spot as the number 9S of Tom C. We'll have to go to the back of the field. He sits alongside of the 13, that is the 13 of Scott Hutchinson. The yellow light is turned off on the speedway. to turn left and head down into the quarter mile pit. Steve Grott still inside, front row. He's going to set the pace as we go around and expect the green flag one more time. Hutchinson makes his way back up to into the pack. It's a different story every time. This time it's Steve Grott. Ray Walsh down to his inside. He is in second, Bob Keck is third, a fight for fourth between John Stanton and the 17 of Wesley Griffith. Griffith and the 17 stand down the inside. Tom Seeks looks to the outside of the 17. Keck for second. Now, two sets of cars side by side down in turn number two. They'll come off. All of them are going to fall into single file. Except for Tom Seat, he goes down to the inside of the seven Bob Keck. He'll make the pass, put Tom Seat up into fourth spot. John Stanton looks to the outside. Keck puts the block on and he comes off at turn number four. Stanton has to fall in behind the seven. Steve Gross in the 22 G leads him up to that stretch. Tom Seat. Bullet pass number one, W of Ray Walsh, as they go down into turn number three. Now it is Drop, Seat, Walsh. Comes down on the fourth turn of the quarter mile, does not contact any of the other competitors. Griffith, this is his 17 car down into the quarter mile turn four, but he gets through it again. Tom Side, number 22, he is Steve Gross. They go down to turn number three side by side. Gross to the outside, hangs on to the lead. Steve Gross is way up for the ball. Tom the new leader in the 9F. Steve Gross is second. Walsh is third. Then Bob Jackson. The leaders 
are now in turn number four. Tom Z gets around the Now he's got everybody out of his way. Tom on the rest of the field. He drifts up high in the middle of turns one and two. And Ray Walt does close up the gap just slightly. White flag will be shown to the field as Tom Z comes off at turn number four. So we get the track cleaned off. Here's how they'll line up for heat number two. So it's Hughes and Baggett on row one, Walker and Downing on row two, Keats and Lawson in row three, and Noll on row four. And your point leader in the NASCAR Winston Racing Series modifies Wayne Downing will start on the outside of row two in the four car. Barry Hughes is third in the point and he's still be on the inside of the pole as they get heat number two underway of the NASCAR Winston Racing Series modifies on the dirt oval at Tri-City. want to thank your fans for coming out on a hot, steamy night here at Tri-City, seeing some of the best drivers. Darren Farr competing tonight on the Bush Tour. They'll be out here in just a moment with more racing for you. Howe is your starter tonight, making sure that everybody gets an equal start, and they're kind of all messed up out of turn two. They'll start forming a shape as they get on the back stretch. John Seats, winner of that last heat race, coming from last to do it. We have a yellow light off on the track. You watch Dean Howe in the stand. He's got the green flag as they come around into turn three. Three rows and two abreast, and then one little single car. That's Mike Knoll who starts in the back. Picking up speed is Larry Hughes in the right. On the field as they go down into turn one. Hughes leads them through with Mike Baggett. Holding down second, and a two-car battle for third place. But right now, Larry Hughes stretches it out on the back side. Nice back, and right now running second. The four-car, Wayne Downing, has moved up to third. As they slow down a little bit at turn three, a little flip over there. They come out third and quarter. Right. Down, come up, on Downing is down low, bagging it high as they go two abreast for second and third and third and fourth. But coming out of turn two, your leader is Larry Hughes. Side by side, now Wayne Downing moves in off Baggett. Downing is down low, Baggett goes up high. The high side has been a little flicker tonight, and Downing comes in. Baggett, and Baggett, side by side, battling for third. Right now, Baggett is the gentleman that holds down third, but the leader is Larry Hughes, followed by Wayne Downing, Mike Baggett, and John Seaton. They're in the middle of turn three and four, coming out of turn four. Here comes your leader. The 69 car, Troy Walker, is running fifth. 
junior leader, Larry Hughes, way down now has dropped back about five car lengths. Keith is making a move on him. And then back at holding fourth and Walker now in fifth. Getting loose and coming down on the track. and Walker. Then the two car will fight all this Pat Lawson. Larry Hughes coming out of turn four is your leader. by himself on the back straightaway. Two car race for second between Downing and Seat. Seat beating to the third three. Downing goes way high on the track. He's put away from the wall. car Johnny Johnson, the 61-year-old father of Jane Johnson, just one, two cars behind his son. Again, Johnny Johnson, row four inside. On the outside of row four, the 52 car is Steve Kosiski. Row five, 26 is Steve Boldy. The 80 car is Scott Koskovich. In row six, the 43 X car is Kurt Stewart. On the outside will be the 43 car of Rich Foster and Steve Orley. And the 85 car will be on the inside of row seven. We have the pace vehicle off the track as they come around. The man in the stand, Dean Howe. And taking out front, your leader is Kevin Gundaker. Jeff Frank now running second. The five cars, Dick Johnson is running third in a battle for fourth and fifth. As they come around turn four, now to turn four, your leader is Kevin Gundaker. Up to 
As we prepare for the second qualifier for the Bush Series Tour, for the NASCAR Bush All-Star Tour, we want to make sure that we extend a great thanks and hey, a welcome to Tri-City Speedway, Dan Inley from RJ Reynolds. It's good to have you here on the premises for a great night of racing action here. Pictures being taken on the front straightaway of Kevin Gundecker, St. Louis's own, I guess you could say, Kevin Gundecker lives in St. Charles, Missouri. He definitely knows his way around Tri-City Speedway, and he definitely knows his way around the inside of a race car. Congratulations to Kevin Gundecker picking up the first qualifier win. Line up for the second qualifier, front row on the inside, number 33 of Rick Windley. Outside of him, the two agents, John Hample. Second row on the inside, number eight of Sonny Fines and Finley. Outside of him, the, F, the three F of Skip Fry. Terry Gallagher in the zero starts third row on the inside. Outside of him, the 72 of Andy Osborne. Fourth row on the inside, another one of those Kaczynski brothers. Number 53, Joe, starts fourth row on the inside. Outside of him, the fourth row, number 11 F of Bill Martin. Fifth row on the inside, the number 32 of Tom Cannon. Outside of him, the 15 of Brian Burkhofer. Sixth row on the inside, the 21X of Steve Hennies. Outside of him, Washington, Missouri, Ed Dixon in the 50. And starting on the inside of the last row by himself, the number 90 of Tom Hurt. One thing we want to let you know about the number 90, he was the first NASCAR Winston Racing Series National Champion back in 1982. So that's Tom Hurt in the number 90 at the rear of the field. champion Joe Kosicki sits fourth row on the inside for the NASCAR Bush All-Star Tour. Green flag in Dean Howell's hand in the front straightaway flag stand. We'll expect to go green flag racing this time by. That is the number 33 of Wendley. Outside of him, the two eight of John Campbell. Up the back stretch. Wendley out front. Back to the end. Campbell. Here's Kelly Finley. We're going to battle for the front. Number two, Will. Fry 
behind Hamper. They, they go down in turn number three. On the turn four, Bravo is in Hardware Store of NASCAR sponsor the Rich New Value Mechanic of the Year Awards program for NASCAR Winston Racing Series mechanics and crewmen at Tri-City Speedway. The True Value Mechanic of the Year Awards program is available in every NASCAR division here. Each local winner gets the black and becomes a finalist for the regional and national True Value Mechanic of the Year Awards worth $20,000 plus travel and accommodations to the annual NASCAR Winston Racing Series banquet at the Opryland Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee. on row one. John Dickerman and McClintock, row two. Crouch and Freeman on row three.
As they come around turn three, we'll have the yellow light out there being the man D. Howe, the man of the stand. We've got a car down on the inside, and we have got somebody that hits the tires real hard. And that should bring out the yellow. The 56 car of Tony Stark and hits the tires down at the third one. So we've got the complete lap. And we started that with the Winston NASCAR official soldier guy. Tony Stark and hits the tires in turn one. Tony Sarkis will now go to the rear following his mishap down through the middle of turn one. We have just a complete lap and they're on the back side. Pat Ryan and Doug Hummel up front. They lead them down into turn three. We have the yellow light off on the three. Ryan will come around. And there's Dean Howell, the man in the stand. With the green flag and he brings it out of that line.
middle of turn three and four. Pat Ryan out of four. That's right.
Your featured event winner of the Bush Series Pro Sacks tonight in the number six car with the rest of the group coming out to get the picture tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Pat Ryan. <laughs> hey, Pat, let's get over here for a minute and get a question room. Hot night for a hot car. Really looking good tonight, huh? Yeah, I tell you what, this Bob Quinn's Auto Bar Special is doing great. SCP builds these motors. Boy, it was strong. Pit crew, they was great. They got me out there and got me going. Oh, well, congratulations, too. Good luck to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Ryan, your Bush Pro Stock Series winter, winter tonight here. Wayne Downing, currently your points leader. Bush Beer sponsor. The boat's place on the side of the number four. Outside of him on the front row, the number one W of Ray Walsh. Inside the second row, the number 360 of John C. Outside of him, the 22G of Steve Brock. Third row on the inside, the number one of Larry Hughes. Outside of Hughes, the number nine of Tom C. Fourth row on the inside, the number seven of Bob Cat. Outside of that fourth row, the number 71 of Mike Baggett. Fifth row on the inside, the 51S of John Stanton. Outside of the fifth row, the number two of Mike Null. Sixth row on the inside, number 13 of Scott Hutchinson. Outside of that sixth row, the number 69 of Troy Walker. Seventh row on the inside, the number 17, Weston Griffin. And outside of him, the number 28 of Pat Lawson. And bringing up the last row all by himself, the number 52 of Dan Roby. That is the lineup for your NASCAR Winston Racing Series Modified. Two cars come out of the pits a little bit late. The number 17, that is Weston Griffith. And the number seven of Bob Downing sets the pace. We watch for the front of the fairway flag. Ray Walsh, early lead. Behind him, the number four of Wayne Downing. Two cars fight for third spot. That is the John C. 360 and the 30 point of the Steve Rock. 360 is not going to make the pass on Wayne Downing. He'll put himself up in the second spot. They're going to go three wide. Rock C. and Wayne Downing are going to be to Ray Wall, still your leader, off at turn number two. Cars three wide, fighting for fourth. The team drives to the top seat to Larry Hughes. Pro Stock, we need you to line up for your future event. who gets up against one of the tire barriers that protects one of the poles. He does have the car trying to move backwards. Troy Walker, back under his own power. Pro Stock, we need you to staging for your feature event. Pro Stock drivers, we need you to bring your cars to the staging area for your feature event. 
Joe will wipe off of the speedway. We're going to go race to the standby. There he is, John Speedway, John Strutt. Front four cars. Took them off at turn four. Three flags in the field. Mike Baggett hanging on to third. Then you go back to about fifth 
What a lot of talent coming out of turn number four. One of these drivers, soon to be the winner of the champion Spark Plug 50. On your feet, make some noise for these drivers of the NASCAR Push All-Star Tour. One of NASCAR's 12, Dory Perry, the only third track Dory Perry of NASCAR. Here they are, the NASCAR Push All-Star Tour drivers. That's their tribute to you as they go by for a breath. Moments away from our green flag, which will be thrown by Dean Howe, the starter from Sea Rapids, Iowa. Terry Schlipman is the current leader in the QC IRP rookie standings. Gary Webb, the leader in the Kasiski Auto Parts Hammer Down competition. Drivers now getting back into two abreast formation behind the NASCAR pace van. Van driven by Ron Strieger of Muscatine, Iowa. They should be getting the signal one more time around when they come by, one more lap. There it is. Those uh, upstretched flags mean stay to a breath. And next time around, watch for a green flag. Roger Dolan, the first winner of the NASCAR Bush All-Star Tour. Points championship-wise, the only other winner who hasn't been a Kasiski was Bob Hill in 1993. Joe Kasiski won it in 86, Steve in 87, Joe in 88, Joe in 89, Steve in 90, Steve in 91, Steve in 92, Steve in 94, Steve in 95, and Joe in 96. It's been a good series for the Kasiski. Okay, keep your eyes open. We're about to turn them loose. The Kaczynski brothers, Joe Kaczynski on the inside in the 53, and outside of him the 52, Steve Kaczynski. They'll leave off the dirt floor.
like there might be debris on the speedway. Well, he said just a few minutes ago that Steve Foley was probably praying for a yellow flag to tighten the field. He got it. And uh, this will put him a little bit closer to our leaders. We'll have to see if those lap cars are kept in the lineup where they're running or if they'll be moved to the back. It appears they are going to be kept in the position in which they were running, but the field will be considerably tightened up. Uh, Tom Cannon's car after uh, Joe Kaczynski and our third place car driven by Steve Boley. That's car number 26. And Boley better watch out because Brian Burkhopper's on the table, uh, on, uh, right behind him on his tail. That's right, after Burkhopper, then you've got the number zero of Terry Gallagher, who is not last car. He is in the running. Then you have Martin in the 11M. You have the 80 car, that is the 80 of Scott Kosovich. Is it Koskovich? Uh, Scott Koskovich. He's uh, a brother-in-law of the Kaczynski's out of Omaha. Very one of the uh, one of their sisters. First off, our one hour race that we had at West Liberty Raceway in early July. And uh, he's always a threat. As I said, Bowley was our first winner of the year. When the lineup started, uh, Rick Wendling in 33 was on the speedway. The car is not out there now, so he must have pulled it in when we weren't looking. Right 
to weigh in, do all of the winning presentations for the NASCAR Bush All-Star Tour. Congratulations to the driver of the 52, Steve Kostinski, as it brings it as he brings it into victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, on the front straightaway, parking the yellow and red, 52. The winner of the Bush Pro Tour Series tonight at Tri-City Speedway, his second win here at Tri-City, Steve Kosiski.